This is code.org. Let's see what we're up to. Fill all of these holes using as few blocks as possible. Okay, so we have one block on our screen. Check. And we can use up to seven. Win run. Oh, all right. I'm going to do what I always do. Let's put some code here and see what happens. I'll move forward first, and then I guess I need to fill that hole. Ooh, that's tricky. We don't know how many times, though. I'll do it once and see. Then uh, turn right, I guess. And move forward and move forward, I think. And then I need to fill a hole. And maybe a... Uh, and notice how fast I'm going. That's because I'm just testing here. I'm not worried about being wrong or right or whatever. Let's see what this does. Okay, I move forward. Oh, except that was four. Oh, well, I filled it once. Okay, that one we got. That one wasn't a mystery. And I move forward again. So we're getting there. But I'm already a bit worried because... Move forward again and again. Fill three. It doesn't look like there is much of a pattern here. Right? Because... And now I would turn right again. There's no clear pattern. And we're going to need to use a repeat to use so little blocks. Well, right off the bat, m m I tend to go to as long as there's a path ahead, or while there's a path ahead, because that will let me move forward as long as there's a path ahead. That way, I don't have to count how many squares, because I'll automatically go forward with my little radar. Let me show you what I mean. Goodbye, big chunk of code. Hello, while, uh, while path ahead. Reset, and run. And see, I detect if there's a path ahead, and I move forward. Obviously, this is only one step. Now, what's going to happen when there's no path ahead? I stop moving. And if there was a line below this, that would run. Well, lucky for us, kwapow, there's a line below this. Well, then what I'll want to do? Like I was saying, I think it's going to be, again, better to use wall path ahead. I don't have to use so many forward blocks. So once I turn, as long as there's a path ahead, I'll move forward. Once I get here, though, mm, it looks like another left turn. Now, again, I don't want to put move forward, what, three times. I'm just going to say, hey, as long as there's a path ahead, you, you person, move forward. And then it looks like, I guess, another left turn. And I think you can see how this is going to work. We don't have to put all those move forwards. We can use our wall path ahead. And so I do my radar. I move forward. Once there's no path ahead, I turn the wrong way because I'm always wrong about everything. Okay, right, right, right. <laughs> Reset and try again. There's no path ahead, I turn right. And I want you to see this, right? You see this radar? And now, since I did the radar and I know there's path ahead, it's this pink mouth thing, I'm going to drop in while there's path ahead. The computer says, true, there is a path ahead. Do move forward. So now I'll move forward. Now my radar is about to shoot again because I'm going to check, hey, is there any path ahead of me? And now this is false. The computer says, well, there's path ahead. False. There's no path. So then I don't do move forward. There's no path. I skip and do turn right instead. Same thing. I hit another one of these. I radar. Is there path ahead? Yes. So do move forward. Now I'm going to radar again because I'll check. Hey, is there path ahead? Yep, there is. Do move forward. Now one more time. Radar. Is there path ahead? False. No path. No path. I just go below and turn right. I don't do move forward. There is no path. Okay. Hopefully you've noticed though I'm already repeating myself here. Right? And so... In code, if you're repeating yourself, ee, you probably don't need to. Instead of doing all these wall move, wall path ahead and move forward, ch -ch 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 -ch, let's see what I could do instead. What if I did, how many sides are there? What if I use one of these? I think there's five. So five times in a row, I will check if there's a path ahead. As long as there's a path ahead, I will move forward. I'll then turn right. I hit the bottom of this, and I have to repeat it four more times. So once again, is there a path ahead? As long as there's a path ahead, this loops, and I'll keep moving forward. Once there's not, I turn right, and then three more times. Let's see if this gets me to the end. And this is looking good, right? It looks like we're going to go there. I'm leaving out, though, the fill command. So these are random. How am I going to do that? Well, thankfully, it first looks like every hole is at a corner. So I know then once I'm at a corner, I'm going to want to fill. Okay, how many times? Well, one time, two times, one time, but a random amount. How can I make sure that I always fill the entire area? Oh, as long as while there's a hole. So I bet this will work like path ahead. While there's path ahead, if this is true, 
what's going to happen? Well, I will keep filling up that hole. As long as there's a hole there, I'll keep going. And we know there's going to be a hole because wall path head will stop when I'm at the edge. Once I'm at the edge, I'll turn right and then I'll fill the hole. Also, I order wouldn't matter here. It doesn't matter once I stop at the corner if I fill a hole here and then turn right or do it this way. It's the same code. Well, it's not the same code, but it's the same result. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. We might need six. Onward. Victory. That one's tricky. Yay.